Dallas, Texas, and the Texas State Fair. And for the better part of a century, the Sooners and Longhorns have defined conferences, national titles, and how regions of the country are perceived based on the outcome of this game. When these two meet, everybody pays attention. This matchup today, part of the lifeblood of the sport, a rivalry game where the results will be remembered for a lifetime. As we'll see, the number three team in the country, the Texas Longhorns, taking on the 14th ranked team in the land, the Oklahoma Sooners. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, can't wait to get this one started. And the Longhorns will boot it away to start the game. Here he comes from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. So Oklahoma's offense will take the first swing of the game. Guys, this rivalry's a throwback. Aren't many left like this with the stadiums divided right down the middle? So much tremendous history between these two teams. And David, it just always seems in this game, you throw out the stats, you throw out the standings, you throw out the records, and this is just a different energy when we see these teams play. It's because you bring in the hatred. They don't like each other. The fan bases don't like each other. Texas, Oklahoma, it always means a lot. The Sooners are in the hurry up. From the gun, give on the inside. Powers through the defender. And he'll pick up the first down after a tough run there. There's always been a lot of flash and sizzle to the Oklahoma offense, but it's built on being tough. Yeah, and especially the great teams. The great teams that you think about in Oklahoma past, the ones that were in the national championship or in the playoff, those are teams that can run the football, be physical. It all started there. The give to the tailback. Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore. You can't help but think back to last year, Jesse, when Oklahoma figured out a way to win that close game. And Reese, Texas has been reminded every day this past year about losing that game close, too. So you knew, David, coming out in this one, they were going to be amped up and ready to roll. And you know the juices are flowing early in the game. Like, this is not a friendly rivalry. OU doesn't like Texas. Texas doesn't like OU. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Defense did a really good job stringing that one out. You've got to see the counter when you start to pull guys understanding. I'm going to spill that ball, make sure it bounces outside, out wide, doesn't come downhill. Great job by the defense understanding that and pursuing to the football. On third down, he drops to throw. Couldn't find a man and just had to throw it away to avoid a negative play. And offensively, we know it's hard throwing the ball in the third and long situations because the defense can play big zone coverages. They got a lot of guys with their eyes on you, so the QB had no shot there. Nobody open. Nice job not forcing it, not risking a turnover, just throwing it away. The Sooners will bring the punt team onto the field. Getting our first look of the afternoon at the punter. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. The Longhorns offense will try to get something going with their first possession. As dynamic as this guy is on the outside, Jesse, you know he's going to be cheating that way from his free safety position. You're right, because as a quarterback, I just can't throw to my guy on the perimeter, right? I got to attack the middle of the field. The problem is you've got one of the best safeties in the nation who likes to lay people out. Yeah, roaming the middle of the field, reading the quarterback's eyes, and he's got an eye on that receiver out there, too, that's dynamic. So let's see what kind of day he can have. After the quarterback and receiver failed to hook up, they'll try it again on second down. Wide out in motion. Back to pass. It's Ewers. A little screen to the running back. Didn't have much room to run and not a whole lot of help. Short game there and still plenty of ground to cover for the first down. 
A lot of chapters in this rivalry. They've been in different conferences. They've been in the same conference. And now they're going to the SEC to elevate this feud. And I feel like it just takes rivalry games in the SEC to a whole new level. Right? When you think about Texas and Oklahoma, you think about past Heisman Trophy winners and national championships. And now, David, you're adding that to Florida, Georgia, Alabama, LSU. It's just an entirely different level now. Yeah, and it's just fun to watch rivalries in college football. And we've lost a lot of them with expansion. This one we get to keep. I love that they're both going to the SEC. They're going to play each other a bunch. We're going to still have this Red River rivalry that gets so many people excited. It's an unbelievable event. We've been there for game day a bunch. It is absolutely crazy. Defense there to stop him after a two-yard gain to the 31. And the running back didn't get much there. Nice job by the defense. You can tell they're focused in on this running back, on this run game, being physical, getting knockbacks, and limiting his carries. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. They'll try the run. Good job running tough and behind his pads as he gets up to the 38-yard line. Offensive linemen love to run the power. Why? You run power. You run power. Then you can play action. You don't want that defense to be sitting there saying, it's a pass, it's a pass, having to pass block every play. You've got to keep defenses off balance. After the strong run on second down, third down coming. Do they do it again? They'll try to get it through the air. Fires to the tight end. The Longhorns get enough for the first down. And the defense brought the blitz on third down, trying to see if they could rattle the quarterback. But how about the poise? He knew where his answer was. He didn't panic or freak out. He just went through his progressions, picked up the first, and we got a fresh set of downs. The Longhorns are rolling down the field. Snagged in the middle. It's Bond. On the move at the 30. The 10. Touchdown, Longhorns. And once he got away from the D, they had no shot at catching it. And what a nice start for this offense. The throw game getting working, getting the touchdown pass. This quarterback getting a little bit of confidence. This passing game getting in a rhythm. Nice start for this offense. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the PAT makes it 7-0. They put together an 81-yard drive, and they cap things off with a touchdown pass from 59 yards out. They're just about ready to kick it away. And he'll bring it out of the end zone. I know he thinks he can house every return, but sometimes you just have to take a knee as he stopped at the 14. Movement here from the tight end. Out of the gun, the inside handoff, looking for a crease. Good vision and determination there to find his way up to the 23. Well, it's plays like that that'll help this offense stay in rhythm all game long. If you can have that kind of success on first down running the football, it just opens up your entire playbook moving forward. And the Sooners want to pick up the tempo. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. And he's knocked down, but not before moving the chains. It's not a flashy play call, but that is exactly what it was designed to do. Get two yards, get the first down. They've got it first and 10 from the 25. Leaves it with the running back. Finds that crease, and he's got four after the 29. You know, it's so important for offenses to want to keep third downs manageable. The way you do that is by having success like that, running the football on first down. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. They'll keep it on the ground. Across the 30, out to the 33, and gains four on the play. 
I think they called that knowing they weren't going to hit a home run. So why would you call it that? Well, you call it so third down becomes an easier down. It's not third and long where I have to pass the football. Now all options on the table. They're facing a third down. To the ground to try to move the chains. He gets it oh so close to the first down marker, but I think he's going to be a touch short. The Sooners send out the punt unit. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Here's the fair catch, and he'll make it close to the 20-yard line. Here comes the Texas offense. Jesse, a very productive drive last time wound up with a touchdown. Yeah, mixing and matching play calling really well. Nice balance on that last one, Dave. We'll see what they can do here in this next drive. Yeah, and I don't expect anything different. When you put together a drive like that, I would do more of the same. Keep the pace, keep it going. After picking up a couple, it's second and eight. Trying play action. Fires to the wideout. Got it in the middle. It's Bond. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep them from getting the first down. And I love the awareness by the wide receiver on that play because I'm not sure that route was supposed to be that deep. You got to wonder if the receiver decided maybe to adjust the route a little bit to make sure that he got the first down. The inside handoff. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-gain land. you got to have that defense you know you can go to in running situations. Your base defense where you say, okay, this is where I'm going to start, and I'm going to stop the run, stuff it up front. My guys play big up front. Then if I need to add some blitzes to it later on down the road, I can. A great job in the base defense making a play. Gets it out fast. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see what the call is. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. Caught behind the line. It's golden. And he'll make his way out of bounds after the solid pickup. Early in the game, I love getting my quarterback in a rhythm. Easy pitch and catch. You've thrown them 4,000 times. Not big shots, but just put you in nice positions on the next downs coming up. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. On third and long, try to convert through the air. Caught over the middle. It's golden. Open runway ahead. And he'll haul it in take it to the end zone touchdown texas and this offense right now they're doing some damage through the air that's now their second passing touchdown they thought coming into this game they were going to have some matchups on the perimeter of the field that they could take advantage of and they've done that so far here today Lining up for the PAT. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And the score comes courtesy of the big play, covering 61 yards on the touchdown pass. The kickoff team out there set to boot it away. Looking for an alley from inside his own 10. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Here comes the Oklahoma offense. To say this has been a slow start is a bit of an understatement, and they really need to get it going here, Jesse. That's right. The opponent, they're firing on all cylinders right out of the gate. Offensively for this unit, they've been slow and struggling. They need an explosive play to wake themselves up. 
Yeah, and it's just the first quarter, so it's not the end of the world. You've seen slow starts, but you've got to continue to pick and pick and pick until you find that play or, or that scheme that you can use against this defense. Looking downfield, it's Hawkins. On target over the middle. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. Well, he's able to make it easy after that catch, and I think his speed is something that just scares DBs to death. And you think about great Oklahoma receivers recently, guys like C.D. Lamb, Sterling Shepard, Hollywood Brown. DBs gave them so much cushion because they were afraid they were going to get run by, and I think that's how defenses treat this guy, too. With his speed and his playmaking ability, he scares you to death in that cushion. And that pressure just engulfed him. A sack for this defense. Guys, it is Texas who holds the lead. They wanted to strike first and strike hard, and they've been able to do that here in the first quarter as we take a look at the stats. This could be a pivotal moment in this game as we open the second period, and they try to find a way to answer. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. You know, runs like this oftentimes are like a boxer in a boxing match. Obviously, it's not a knockout punch, but these are body blows. And as the game goes on, these small gains are going to turn into longer runs. The Sooners headed quickly to the line. On third down, going up top. He lost one down the sideline. And trying to put points on the board on third down, now they're staring at fourth down. It's so nice when you know it's third and long, you know a pass is coming, you worked on it all week, get your feet set at the sticks, understand that quarterback's got to be rushed, get him off of his spot. Nice execution by this defense. And the Sooners will call on their punt team. On the move, it's Bolden. Pretty solid coverage there, and they'll stop him at the 26. And here come the Horns. They've got it again on offense. They've jumped on them, executing at a high level and up 14-0, David. This is the exact start you want. I mean, offense is playing great. Defense has gotten stops. You're in a position now, Palmer, to put the hammer down and get a three-possession lead. I'm really impressed with their physicality on both sides of the ball early in this one. They've been winning in the trenches. So here on offense, keep running the football and show your dominance. Kept it on the ground last time. Let's see if they go back to it on second down. Looking for a man. It's Ewers. He makes the connection. And he'll go down, but he has enough for the first down. And now a fresh set of downs for this offense. They'll go to the ground. And I think they'll give him two on that one, second and eight coming up. And sticking to the run. I'll tell you what, a lot of teams that are really good are really stubborn, and they continue to run the football even with little success. So this offense is going to continue to focus on running the football, you can tell. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. On the run, it's Blue. And they'll stop him after a minimal pickup. Let's see what they find in the playbook for third and long from the 43. From the gun, wants to pass. Just had to get rid of that one to save the yardage on third down. And the Longhorns decide to punt it away. They'll look to pin him deep.
Running it back, it's Bowen. They're able to put a stop to that return right at the 30-yard line. Now the Oklahoma offense will go back to work. They've stumbled a little bit out of the gate here, Jesse, finding themselves down by two scores. Yeah, and their defense needs to help them out and get off the field and get them some more possessions. This offense didn't spend a lot of time on the field in the first quarter. David, I think they got to run the ball here and try to establish some rhythm. they got to establish something, and you're right. You'll wear your defense out, continue. You keep getting the football back to them, to the other offense, you're wearing your defense out, and you'll have no shot to get back in this game. Out of the gun, the inside handoff to the running back. And he doesn't find much running room, a short gain on the play. I like feeding my guy. I like getting my running back touches, feeding the ball so he can break some of those big runs. But I'm also OK with these little ones. Set the tone, stay balanced. The Sooners come to the line in the hurry up. He's going to look for a man on third and short. Quick strike complete. He steps out of bounds, but it will be enough for a first down. Third down, a lot of times it comes down to not necessarily who's the most open, who do you trust the most? No, it's not about the X's and the O's. It's about the Jimmy's and the Joe's. And when my guy's better than you and I get you matched up out wide and I know I trust you, I'm finding you. Wants to throw on first down. Grab behind the line. It's all Chuck. Yeah, and you see running backs in today's football. They play a wide receiver basically for you. But you got to find a guy that you can throw it to, and you know he's going to catch the ball consistently. And here comes the offense on second down. He'll keep it himself. Gets it all the way down to the 39-yard line. It'll be a first down. Ooh, I like that option play. I'd keep running that, too, because it's obvious. The defense right now is really keying in on this running back. That was a big point of emphasis for them all week long in practice, and it's opening up holes now for the quarterback to run. The Sooners are moving quickly down the field. Coming out on first down with the play fake. And the defense picks up a sack, getting the quarterback down at the 44. But when it's a play action pass, that quarterback, he really has to sell the fake. He can't tell his offensive lineman's getting beat right away while he's selling the fake. He had no shot. They'll try to keep that sack from wrecking this drive here on second and 15. Handoff from the gun. Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore. Seventh play of the drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Scanning the field, it's Hawkins. He makes a catch. Touchdown Sooners! That is the ultimate grab and go for the score. One of the reasons this offense is so exciting to watch, they've got guys that are dangerous after the catch. And if this quarterback gets through his progression, David, gets you in stride, these guys will take it to the house. Man, it's your job to do the rest, right? You hit me in stride where I don't have to stop running, I don't have to break down. It makes it so easy, the connection between quarterback and wide receiver. You can tell this is a good one, and that's why they got six on that play. Getting set for the point after. And after the extra point, they've cut the lead in half, down 14-7. So a well-executed 8-play, 75-yard drive. And the finisher coming on that 42-yard touchdown toss. The kickoff team on the field as they'll send this one away. He'll start the return inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. So now the Longhorns take over and they'll send out the offense. 
Off the play fake on first down to throw. A strike downfield. Big, big gain on that one as he steps out of bounds with a first down. Yeah, and the quarterback knew exactly where he wanted to go with the football. Had time, spins the ball deep. Nice job by this offense, understanding what the defense has given them and creating the explosive play. The Longhorns want to crank the tempo. Wide receiver now comes in motion. And he can't escape, and down he goes. Yeah, that's a great job. And listen, this quarterback's had success. He's already thrown for two touchdowns. we got to make him feel uncomfortable. This is still early in the game. Nice job by the defense getting a hit on the quarterback and making him think a little bit. They'll try to keep that sack from wrecking this drive here on second and 15. He leaves it with his back. And they try the middle of this defense, and that is not happening. Great team defense on that run play. Everybody doing their job. People winning their one-on-ones. D linemen staying in their gaps. Linebackers and DBs filling. You just can't do it better. Third and long from the 42. If they can get some of it, it might give them a chance to go for it on fourth down. He hurls one deep down the left side. And he will take it in. Touchdown, Longhorn! Man, that's a play this kid has been running ever since he was seven years old at the park with his best friend, throwing them go routes right down the field. I'm running by a guy, I'm looking back, locating the football, making the catch, and he does it in a big moment here in this game. Ready to try the point after. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they close the deal with a 58-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff team out there getting set. Bringing it out. I know he thinks he can house every return, but sometimes you just have to take a knee as he stopped at the 14. Looking for space, it's Ocha. Works his way into the traffic and picks up three to the 17. And those physical runs take a toll. It might not be a big game now, but down the road, third, fourth quarter, late in the ball games, they tend to turn into bigger runs. After the three yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. play action and the quarterback caught up two and sacked at the 12. what a great job by this defense setting the tone early in the first half they've been hitting the quarterback early and often make him feel uncomfortable make him feel that pressure keep getting him on the ground that's why they built the lead we've made our way to the two-minute warning and now they'll try to at least cut a little something off of this lead before the break this defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. And they drag him down, but not before he picks up the first down. Listen, I know he didn't get the first down, but it's a great play call because you keep the defense off balance. You use their aggressiveness against you. You want to get aggressive? You want to start flying in here to try to play certain things? Boom, we'll go the other direction just to keep you off balance a little bit. Clock stops momentarily for the first down. They'll hurry to the line. Comes out throwing on first down. Quickly complete. You'll take this every time. Five yards on the first down play. 
Yeah, and that was tough on the DB, right? He's trying to cover the receiver on a drag route, running back over the middle of the field. You're trying to avoid all the linebackers, all the congestion. He just couldn't stay with them long enough, and as a result, fresh set of downs for the offense. Back to throw, it's Hawkins. He lost it high and deep down the left side. And it goes through his hands. Oh, he had an explosive play right there for the taking, but couldn't reel it in. Yeah, and I love taking deep shots. I think it makes cornerbacks play on us, safeties play on us. And you can tell, just missed a little bit deep on that shot. But listen, those are shots that we want to take because the risk is definitely worth the reward. Grabbed over the middle. It's Burks. And he gets it up to the 36. It'll be a first down. When you're a playmaker like this guy is, your coaches are going to dial up plays intended for you, especially on third down. That's what you saw in that last play. There was no question where the quarterback was going with that football. All week long, they decided on the biggest downs of this game, we're going to target our best player, and we're going to make sure that he gets looks. It doesn't matter what the coverage is, and you saw it right there on that play. Throws to the wideout. Incomplete. He had it right in his hands for the pick, and I believe he might have been thinking about those big plays he's known for. Instead, it'll be second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. Dialing up a second down pass play. Makes the catch down the right side. He's off to the races. Touchdown, Oklahoma! And once he got loose, it was all over. And I tell you what, that passing touchdown, man, that should spark this whole team. Like, the comeback is more than on now. Like, they got the touchdown. They cut into the lead. You, you want to get a stop and go into the half, get all the juices, all the excitement, and be like, listen, the passing game's rolling. We got this. The comeback's in full effect. On to attempt to try. And with the extra point, every little bit counts as they get closer. So they got the touchdown, now going to put it in the hands of their defense to finish off this half. On the move from inside is five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The Longhorn sending the offense back onto the field. Wide open downfield. The offense will have to use its first time out of the half. Man, if I'm a defense, i got to find a way to get some more pressure on the quarterback or disrupt their timing and their rhythm. I can't give them these big chunk plays through the air. i got to be maybe a little bit more aggressive or do something a little bit different. Grabbed in the middle, it's Golden. The offense uses a timeout to stop the clock and they'll get a quick breather. That's a good job by the drag route there, understanding its zone coverage. So instead of continuing to run across the field, he settles down into an open spot, making it easy for his quarterback. To the air, it's Ewers. Fires to the middle. Got his man downfield. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. A nice job by the offense there, attacking the middle of the field. Excellent route, finding the soft spot in the defense. Nice job by the quarterback, putting it right on his guy. Running out of time here in the first half. They're going to have to be efficient to put some points on the board before the break. Trying to get to him. Pass rush, gets there, gets home, gets him down at the 23. The offense burns his third and final timeout of the half. And in the final seconds of the first half, they'll send out the field goal unit. It is good! And they'll trot off to the locker room after the field goal to close the half.
We've played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Thanks so much, guys. And I need not tell you, rivalry games always bring out a ton of emotion. And no surprise, we saw just that in the first half today. And there is no better place to start this halftime than by reviewing how this wideout has been a one-man wrecking crew. The kid's been everywhere. And I love how he's willing to go across the middle, but that he also has the Jets to burn these DBs on the deep ball. If this defense wants to actually come back in this one, they better hide his cleats. That said, let's get back to the field and our guys in the booth to see who comes out on top of this rivalry contest. And the Sooners will kick it off to start the second half. And he takes this from inside the five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes and they'll stop him at the 16. And here comes the Texas offense back on the field. Going to the run to start this second half. He found a hole, got about five. He's down at the 21. You see, they need more runs like that. It's just it's been so few and far between. Defensively, they've been in position. They've been winning their one-on-one -on -one battles, getting off of blocks and rallying to the ball carrier. This defense has done a nice job slowing down the run game thus far. Moving the running back, forcing the defense to adjust. He lets one fly deep. And a big play on the outside. What a job to keep those feet in bounds and get the completion. Another big gain on the catch here. Big target out there like a Roy Williams was back in the day. No doubt. And find your guys, find your matchups. And listen, when you're at Texas, you recruit at a high level. You usually get better dudes than you're playing against. Find those guys, let them make plays for you. They'll run it out of the shotgun. And it's just simple. Simple first down run, showing your physicality, setting your offense up in a good spot. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. And after that last run, we'll see if they keep it on the ground on third. They'll try to run for it. Discards a man. Now they're really starting to threaten as they pick up the first down at the 34-yard line. And I would just hate to be in the shoes of these defenders trying to tackle this running back because, of course, you're so afraid of this guy shaking you and using his elite speed to make you look bad on a highlight film somewhere, but you forget this guy can still run you over. And you saw it on that play. Unloads to the wideout. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. Well, that's one the offense would love to have back. That's a play they practice over and over and over. They feel like they can run that play in their sleep, not able to connect there. Offense gets set for second down. They move the tight end all over. On the ground, it's blue. He works his way down to the 30-yard line before he stopped a gain of three. Coming to the line of scrimmage at the 30. It would be a long field goal, but they'd love to pick up a few here on third and long. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. Yeah, and third and short, they choose not to run, throw the football, and I think a lot of that has to do with they know they're in field goal range. They can take the three points on the board. And on fourth down, they'll try to salvage the drive with a field goal. And after finishing off one drive with a field goal, they'll try it again, this time a 47-yard try. He's got it, showing off that big leg from 47 yards out.
So the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away after putting up a field goal. Let's see what the defense can do. On the run from inside his own five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. Here comes the Sooner offense back onto the field. There's certainly still a hill to climb, but they've got to make sure these drives pay off. Got it. He'll off one deep down the left side. And he'll pull it in inside the 20. And they pick up a better than 30 yards on that completion before the defense brings him down. Hey, we've seen this movie before. Lights, camera, action, just like Marquise Hollywood Brown, who went for 265 in one game. And every year, the numbers change, the names change, but the Sooners, they've got burners on the outside. They make big plays. They've always got a fun, fast offense, and this guy's just fitting right in line. From the red zone, looking for a man. And the ball comes out. What a disastrous play. And he gets back on top of it and averts disaster. And listen, quarterbacks run more nowadays, and we see more of it, but they do have a tendency, because they are a quarterback, to cough it up a little bit. But how about the man? He said, I got this, and jumps back on it, Make sure he covers that thing up so he didn't make a bad play for his offense. Second down after the offense averted absolute disaster. Back to throw, it's Hawkins. Fires a bullet, and now it's picked off. Didn't let him get loose on the return, but he'll take it as they have the ball at the 47. And defensive backs, you think, don't have good hands. The big fella shows it. How about that defensive back going up and getting the interception? Nice job breaking on the football. You say that's why he played defense, because you don't have hands? Yeah. So Texas has it again, and here comes the offense. They kicked a field goal on the last drive, Jesse. They've got the lead. Don't make a dumb mistake, but maintain your aggressive play call. Yeah, no doubt. And I think it's the play caller right now just taking a look at that script he's got in front of him and finding out where are my playmakers, who can we take advantage of on this defense to get a touchdown here. Man. Yeah, and just keep moving the ball down the field. Just execute a little bit better in the red zone. There's no need to panic. We're moving the football, and we got the lead. Wide receiver shows motion. Quarterback wants to throw on second down. They're setting up the screen. At the 40, there he goes. They make the stop, but not before the screen has hit him for a first down and much more really good execution by this offense. Hey, man, sometimes you get the perfect play call at the perfect time. That time, the defense blitzing. Offensive line allowed everybody to run up field and they slip in the running back screen and behind it, there was nobody there to make a tackle. And this offense generates a massive play. The gift to the back. Squeezes out a couple of yards down to the 32. That's a really good job by the defense, wrapping them up, getting them on the ground, take away that run game, make them one dimensional, put them in passing situations. Really good job by the defense. After picking up a couple at second and eight, Unloads quickly. The expressway is wide open. And he motors into the end zone. Touchdown, Texas! Now they have extended this lead, guys, starting to put the hammer, but sometimes a rivalry game can give you a little of extra fight back. And there can be no panic at this point now. You've worked too hard this offseason, David. They've had this game circled for so long. You've got to play your best football right now and fight back. And you just need something good to happen on this next possession. You've got to get the crowd back into this football game. Big rivalry. Get some emotion. Get some momentum on your side. And now they'll try to get the two-point conversion, guys. Fast motion from the offense. Touch pass on the jet sweep. He's not going to make it stop short of the goal line, and they are unable to extend this lead any further. 
Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll bring it back from inside his five. And the returner is stopped. Guys, we'll get another look at this Oklahoma offense. That last drive was promising for a while, but you just can't mess it up at the end with the pick, Jesse. No, you got to be able to finish drives, especially in this game, if you're going to win. And, David, they've got to be able to eliminate the mental mistakes. Yeah, and I don't think you get conservative or play it safe. You can trust your guy. I think you put the ball right back in his hands and let him do his thing. The Sooners moving quickly to the line. to throw. It's Hawkins. Flips it out to the back. And the defense able to drag him down, but not before. They'll recycle that down marker. You know, it's a nice throw by the QB there. When you're throwing to running backs, you got to make it easy on them. So you want to put it right on their body, make the catch simple, and let them go to work like they did just there, getting that first. It'll be a first and ten from the 29. Looking for a gap. It's Achuk. And he's almost to that first down marker there, saying he's a little bit short. They might want to bring out the sticks and measure, but it looks as if he'll be just short of the first down. Up tempo for the offense. The give out of the gun. And excellent vision to find running room there and make a really good pickup before the defense put a stop to it. And a great job by the offensive line. If you're going to run the ball right up the middle, you better control the line of scrimmage. You can see the center, the guard, the tackles doing a good job getting on their guys just enough where this running back can get into space and make the big game. To the air on first down. Caught in the backfield. It's Acha. The defense wouldn't let him loose, and even though it's a completion, they lost yardage. I want to make sure I know where the playmakers are, and I can't let guys like this guy slip out of the backfield and make big plays against me. Good job being aware that they can throw the ball to the running back, closing space, and getting that fast dude on the ground. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. And how about the work up front by that big defensive line? Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. And this offense can ill afford to come up empty on this drive, already trailing by multiple possessions. On third and long, hoping to throw beyond the sticks. And makes the grab in the end zone. Touchdown Sooner! He has been surgical. Precision passes. Using the scaffold, the fine instrument, rather than the blunt one. And the defense has had absolutely no answer for him. Just, uh, he's been down their throats all game long. A step ahead, understanding what he's seeing, and just destroying this defense. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And it's perfect. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. Here he comes from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Here comes the Texas offense. That last drive really productive. David wound up with a touchdown. They'll try to do it again. 
Yeah, so I don't expect this offense to change too much, Reese. They had a great drive. They got the touchdown. Everything working. I would expect them to keep pushing this ball downhill. And just imagine if they could put another touchdown on the board right here. They could capture so much momentum in this game with back-to-back -back TDs. Got a little work done on first down. Now back to the line. Using his legs, it's blue. Defense there to stop him after a gain of one to the 22. These two quarterbacks have produced as we check out their numbers after three. One more period to go to see who can make the winning plays and come home with the victory. Offense breaks the huddle. It's third down. Dropping back, it's Ewers. Working the middle, it's complete. And oh, he was off to the races after the catch, and they finally drag him down. Boy, the defense really needed to get off the field there, and they just couldn't do it, and it's a fresh set of downs. Man, that hurts. When you're trailing late in the ball game, you need those stops, and you get them to third down. You get them to those critical points. Now they get the first down. You don't have many left. You better get aggressive. He's going to throw deep right side. And here's the pick, and oh, did they need that right now. And the senior just snatched the ball out of the air and gave it back to his offense. All right, sense of urgency now has to go through the roof of this team. They needed their defense to come up with that turnover right there. So if you're on offense, you got to get these plays called. You got to get aggressive, take some shots, because you can now go and win this game. Sooner offense returns to the field. That last touchdown drive was surgical through the air, Jesse. It sure was, and that's why this offense is so dangerous, David, because they can score in a hurry because of how efficient they are throwing the football. Yeah, and welcome to modern college football. That's what it is. Spread you out, find my playmakers, make quick decisions, and really put defenses in a difficult situation. The Sooners in the hurry up. Quarterback on the keeper. Keeps the legs moving. Nice stiff arm there, but the defense still able to stop him for a short game. And when these quarterbacks run these zone reads or read options, whatever you want to call them, they have to put their eyes on a certain defender, and they're reading him. And basically, you can't be right. That's what makes it so hard to defend, because if you do one thing, he's going to do the other. You do the other thing, he's going to do the other. So... Good luck stopping. They'll run for it on third and short. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. And I think this offense ran the football knowing it's in fourth down territory. It, it's fourth and short. It's go time, almost near midfield. To me, this is green light. I got to stay aggressive. I'm losing, but the situation favors me in fourth and short. Coming after it. They got him. It's a sack. And what a stop for this defense to turn it over on down. And you had to. I mean, the offense had to be aggressive. You're down multiple scores. You needed to make something happen right now. You had to be aggressive. I think you had to go for it on that fourth down. Now, obviously, the game's looking like it might get out of hand. And here come the horns. They've got it again on offense. After that last pick, David, they really need to take care of the ball this time. No doubt. And Palmer, I want to know what Spurrier said to you on the sideline after a pick. Do that again, and you'll be right here beside me for the rest of the game. <laughs> you got to go out. You got to call your plays. And I hope this coaching staff isn't going to be afraid to throw at this drop. Sometimes it's not about a fancy play design. It's about just getting him the ball and letting him play. Especially nowadays with running backs being so good out of the backfield. You know they're going to catch it, and there's so many ways to use him. But exactly, get it to him, let him break tackles, let him make plays. Easy decision. And they'll stop him just short of the first down, just inches away from moving the sticks.
And now on third down after that last run. They'll try to run for it. He gets it to the 38-yard line, and they'll pick up a fresh set of downs. Well, the defense didn't blitz. They didn't have everybody in gaps, and the offensive line took advantage at the point of attack, getting some push, opening up a hole, and the offense ripping off a nice run there. And the Longhorns will snap it on first and 10. He's going to pass. Shoots it to the left. And it's intercepted, maybe breathing a little life into this team. Listen, the enemy is the clock, right? You're down by two scores. You've got to make something happen. Really, really good job by the defense, forcing the turnover, getting the ball back to your offense. Now you've got to go score, and i got to get one more stop. Time for this Sooner offense to go back to work. There have been a couple of missed opportunities for these offenses in the last couple of drives, Jesse. And I think for this offense here, it'd be nice to hit an explosive play, be aggressive, and really pay off your defense's effort that last drive. And instead of having to move the ball down the field consistently and then getting stopped on fourth downs, you're right. Create some of those explosives. Take those deep shots. Make those big plays. Lost five on that first play, and now it's second and 15. Looking for a man, it's Hawkins. And he got smacked just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. And the quarterback gets hit again. We already know this defense has gotten home to him multiple times in this game. So here you are, you're trailing in the game. Defense knows you're gonna throw it. They're pinning their ears back. You can't feel very confident right now if you're the play caller, and certainly if you're the quarterback, that you're gonna have time to throw. On third and long, doesn't need to take the check down. And that one's incomplete. They weren't just trying to move the chain. They were trying to move the scoreboard. Instead, it's fourth down. And now such a tough situation. Late in this game, you're trailing. But now it's fourth and long. Like, it's one thing if it's fourth and short. This makes it even more difficult. You've got to have something dialed up you feel really great about. On fourth down, they'll pass for it. He's not afraid to go deep. Hits him inside the 20, still going. Well, they just drained all the suspense out of the fourth down conversion, moving the chains easily. Sometimes we don't give enough credit to a receiver knowing exactly where he needs to be on the field, and they pick up the first down there. Yeah, and you've got to give the receiver credit, obviously knowing where that is, but the defender needs to know where it is, too. Where is he trying to get? That ball's going to come out quick. He didn't really understand where the sticks were, and because of that, he gives up the first down. He needed to just be a little bit more aware as a defensive guy. Out of the gun, the running back has it. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Don't you love energetic defenses that fly around, that make things happen? The ones that get in the backfield, the running back tries to go somewhere. Where do you want him to go? There, there is nowhere to go. Nice job by the defense, creating the tackle for a loss on first down. And the Sooners will hustle to the line. Catch in the middle. It's Burks. They make the stop right there. Good pickup. It's still short of the first down. It's really easy to say the word RPO and say I'm going to run them, but you got to make those decisions and you got to make them fast. You can't get confused by all the craziness that's going on, by all the guys moving around or talking. Nice job by the quarterback. Staying in the moment, seeing it, throwing the slant, making sure he makes the right decision. On third and short, they'll ride the running back here. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. The defense is going to need one more stop. This is the game right now. You just got one on that last run play, setting up fourth down. Do you bring pressure? What are we doing defensively here to make sure that we can get off the field and win this game? Down in the fourth quarter, it's too late for empty possessions. They'll go for it on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. And he sacked a big play on fourth down to stop this drive. Yeah, and you needed points. You wanted points badly. But listen, the offense, you know exactly what they're going to do. They're going to get in their four-minute offense. Now, i got to start preserving that clock, using my timeouts, try to get a stop and get this ball back to my offense. So now the Longhorns take over and they'll send out the offense. 
One of the most valuable things a quarterback can have, David, short-term memory. Just forget that last pick. You're dang right. Clear the mechanism. It's over. Move it behind you. Some players can't do that real well, and it leads to more mistakes, Jesse. you got to just forget about it and move on. And I think the coaching staff can help him too, David. I think you can get the running game going here and also give him some easy throws. They'll probably bleed every second possible off this clock before they snap it. They'll keep it on the ground. They want this clock to move. And they try to run inside, and there is nowhere to go. Big third down for this defense. Listen, you've got to get the ball back. You know what they're doing. They're trying to run the football, but we need the clock to be on our side so our offense has some time. Got to make a stand right here on third down. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Back to throw. It's yours. What a spectacular layout and catch. The Longhorns getting set on first and ten. From the gun, the Gale looking for room. Stopped at the 47 after a 10-yard gain. Defense uses a timeout quickly trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. They've picked up a couple of first downs to start this drive, and now first and 10 from the 47. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. As they come to the line on second down, ordinarily you might go up top, but they need to keep this one on the ground, keep that clock winding. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. This is a big pressure moment for the offense, too, because they've got the lead, but it's now third down on their own side of the field. They would love nothing more than to be able to convert this, stay on the field, keep leading the clock, but the defense, I'd expect them to bring pressure here, trying to force the ball out of the QB's hands quickly. And they just want to give this guy a chance to make a play on third down, and more times than not, he is going to deliver. And he's so good, so efficient, such a good route runner, got the speed, got the complete game. So you definitely want to highlight him, and especially on the downs that matter the most. If something's not open quick underneath, find him. He'll make those contested catches. With the game in hand, the offense choosing to just have the quarterback take a knee. This game always brings out the best in both teams, but today, Jesse, Texas best was a little better. And this is a win for them that's going to help their recruiting. Coaches are going to get paid for. But most importantly, David, Texas gets bragging rights for another whole year. A whole year of bragging. And a whole year of telling OU fans, you're not as good as us. You can throw up the hook em horns. You can do it with pride. A lot on the line every year in the Red River rivalry. It may not be a crown, but it's a hat and it is golden. In this latest edition of the Red River Rivalry, it goes to Texas. For David Pollock and Jesse Palmer, I'm Reese Davis. Until next time, that'll do it for this edition of EA Sports College Football.